Southwest Florida. In 1994, a Florida prison started a small zoo with a group of ducks. Ten years later, the zoo now has 150 animals. It's a thriving program that's good for the community, good for the animals, and great for the inmates. When you live near the ocean, you constantly fight against corrosion. In a lot of ways, people are the same. They need to be cared for in order to keep them going. My name is Jeannie Sealander, and I am the Animal Farm Supervisor for the Monroe County Sheriff's Office Animal Farm. The farm started in 1994 as a haven for ducks that were crossing the road and being hit by cars. And the word went up the keys that we were taking in animals, and the farm began. So when I thought about working at a jail, I was extremely apprehensive. I had never been to a jail. I had never worked around inmates. I think a lot of people have misconceptions about the inmates because they just see the orange uniform. They don't see the person. All right, guys, so this morning, basically nothing fancy on the schedule today. I'll take the alpacas out, so leave them in their stalls, and I'll make sure I take care of them. Let your horses out as usual. If Angus's fly mask is off, try to get it back on. Um, normal stuff today, nothing new. So y'all do your thing, and we'll have coffee and go on with the day. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thanks. Thank you. Good job. I was really surprised at how not all inmates are equal. Some are just regular people who've made mistakes, and they're getting locked up with violent criminals. Instead of being rehabilitated, we're punishing them. I think that needs to change. And this is Ghost. And Ghost was completely blind. And this inmate, they called him Big Mike, and he and Ghost formed a very special bond. Bonds like this don't come around often. I think it opened Mike up. I think it opened him up a little bit more personality-wise. And this photo has always meant a lot to me because Big Mike never smiled. And this photo shows Big Mike smiling and lovingly caring for Ghost. And why was that important? And why did that entice you? Well, I think it teaches him compassion and love for another creature. And I hope in some way, even if I can't change everybody's life, that I might be making a difference in one person's life. The zoo is my labor of love. Hi. This is for the animals, for the community, for the children, and for the inmates. I've had several inmates tell me how important the zoo was for them in surviving their time in jail and how they don't feel like they would have made it without the sanctuary of the zoo. I think working with the animals teaches them more compassion and more humanity. When I look around at this zoo, I'm amazed at how far we've come. We've helped a lot of people, we've helped a lot of animals, and we still have a long way to go. And I see so much potential with this zoo, the inmates, the program itself, and I would love to think that other places might emulate what we do here. We're caring for animals in need. We're teaching inmates responsibility and compassion and to me, those are the most important things in the world. <laughs>